Scientists at the Hospital for Sick Children have discovered a way to stop and prevent the growth of a common type of childhood brain tumor. It's been five years since Kate Edwards Wilbring's son Eddie was given a diagnosis that no parent or child should ever have to hear. Her one-year-old baby had a brain tumor. It was like our whole world turned upside down. Like he, we had this healthy boy that we thought, you know, we had gone through 12 months of him walking at 10 months old and excelling and then all of a sudden my baby I, I couldn't fix him. Eddie would go through several rounds of chemotherapy along with a life-saving surgery at Sick Kids, eventually getting the all clear. But being in remission also means many months and years of monitoring to ensure that the cancer never returns. And now doctors and researchers at Sick Kids are working on a discovery that could change the lives of children like Eddie. I was so proud um, that this is my kid's doctor who discovered this. And for, for us, he will always be at risk for it returning. And this specific research can prevent that. Dr. Peter Dirks leading the team of scientists at the Peter Gilgan Center for Research and Learning who have discovered a way to stop the growth of medulloblastoma, known as one of the most common forms of pediatric brain cancer. What we found was the cell that's lurking behind is a cell that's actually multiplying slowly. So we found a way of of preventing that cell from generating any more uh, other cells in the tumor and thereby we block tumor growth. Dirk says after conventional treatments, a protein called Olig2 would activate sleeping stem cells, causing them to divide and grow into a tumor. But now these findings would stop that. We sort of found a magic bullet, if you will, that targets a very precise event in the tumor that then causes the thing to, to collapse principle of it is to sort of disrupt cancerous processes at the very root of tumor growth and that is what's so exciting about sort of the implications of this so it may extend beyond just medulloblastoma into different types of cancers as they sort of get studied better as well. As for what's next with this research well Dr. Dirk says that he is expecting the research to move on into the clinical trial phase and that is expected to begin in the next six months with partnerships in the United States and Australia. For City News in downtown Toronto I'm Alessandra Carnero.